shots fired at a Long Island beach. What we know about the chaotic scene that is still disrupting train service tonight. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. I'm Maurice Dubois. The situation unfolded when a large crowd descended onto Long Beach. Let's take a look at some live pictures now from Chopper 2, where police officers are still trying to piece together exactly what happened. We do know that at least one person was shot. CBS 2's Lori Bordenero live now on the ground, where she just spoke with police. Lori? And Christina Maurice police just confirmed they do have two people in custody and that victim is being treated at the hospital. Uh, witnesses tell me they heard about seven shots fired here outside the Long Beach train station. And you can see the parking lot here is still cordoned off with crime scene tape as this is still an active investigation. Police say this appears to have stemmed from a fight on the boardwalk just a few blocks away. Uh, the chaos here unfolded at about six o'clock. Nassau County police say they were called in by Long Beach police to help Helped disperse a large crowd of people, about 2,000 people that had gathered on the boardwalk, possibly for senior skip day. And then sometime around 7 o'clock, shots were fired here by the Long Beach station. There was a massive response from police, and you can see officers here with rifles, police hiding behind an ambulance, and that injured person in the road. Cell phone video also capturing the frightening scene as people went running. We spoke to a few people who saw and heard the shots. We was walking towards the laundromat and we was coming down to go to the rest of our friends. All we see is the cops like come like really fast down the block and all you hear is like the first shot, boom. Then you hear like seven more go off, boom, and we just boom, saw the boom. guy right there. There was just a fight, yeah. A fight, like usual. And then they started fighting and then they started shooting. But that's the only thing that I remember. I started running. And as for the victim, his condition is not clear, but police say he was conscious when they arrived. We're live in Long Beach, Lori Bordenero, CBS2 News. Lori, thank you.